to Pokemon Snap. In the last episode, we went to the valley, we took some pictures of Pokemon like we always do, and we got the Dash, the Dash, the Dash engine. So now we can go a little bit faster, and in today's episode we're going to be looking for some Pokemon signs, and seeing where that's going to lead us, I don't know. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and actually get some other Pokemon pictures that we haven't gotten yet, so it's going to be full of Pokemon today. Alright, so let's get started at the beach. Yes. Here we go. Uh, Alright, so I gotta I gotta do a little bit of real talk with you guys. I gotta I gotta be honest with you. Um I kinda I'm kinda delayed in a couple of these episodes, particularly for one particular reason. And uh, it ha it's Pokemon related. Um <laughs> But as most of you know probably what most of you are doing right now if you're watching this, if you're watching this. Um, little, fun little thing came out a couple days ago called Pokemon Go, and I mentioned it in the last video, but I figured I'd talk about it again in this episode. Um, but I, I really just want to talk more about, um, just what, what an impact this game has done, just in the short amount of time that it's been out. Like, it is, it's, it's astounding to me just how huge this this mobile game has become in just the short amount of time that it's been out. It's like, it, honestly, it hasn't been out no more than a week, at least for, for me here in the in the United States. I know it's been out. <gasps> it's a Scyther! That's a new one. All right. Um, but yeah, and I've noticed that just, just overall with just everything that's been going on with it and just how it's honestly in a weird way it's kind of like brought a lot of people together and that's astounding to me like because originally it di I didn't really think that you know because I knew I knew people love Pokemon I know I understand that. I know a lot of people love Pokemon myself included I love Pokemon I mean particularly Gen 1 but I do love Pokemon and when I heard about Pokemon Go, I thought, you know, a couple of people are going to like it. You know, it's mostly going to probably just be for Pokemon fans and that and everything like that. And, um, what really surprised me about everything about it is just that how many people are into it now. How many people are playing it. How many people just are experiencing it. It's, it's astounding to me. And, uh... And the more and more I look at it, it's, it's, it's kind of amazing to me to the fact that it's it's causing one thing that I've always loved when it comes to just gaming in general. It doesn't matter if it's console gaming or mobile gaming, whatever, it's just gaming in general. And I noticed that it's bringing a lot of people together. And I know that's kind of weird to say given oh. it's Pokemon and everything like that. Hold on. Oh, this is it. This is exactly the Pokemon sign I've been looking for. What? Wonderful. Your work is impeccable. I needed to do the oak voice. Anyway, it's just, it's astounding to me that so many people Wait. that you would never expect to play games or Welcome talk to back. people who play games are actually doing that now. You take pictures at a good here pace. Is a present for to you. make work easier, here's a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to see a rare Pokemon poses? Play this polka flute to make it possible. It's easy to use. Press the down C button and it allows you to play the flute. You can listen to different music by playing pressing down. Try playing the polka flute often. Shall I repeat this information? No thanks, Oak. Of course. All right, so we got the polka flute now. So now we can take some more kooky, crazy pictures. So that should be fun. All right, so. Yes. Head to the tunnel, look for another Pokemon sign, and uh, and like it's like I said though. I mean, I'm just I'm astounded by that. I really am, and because even even uh, I didn't really notice it until the other day when I was at work, and uh, and I was just I was at work and I went on my break, and I saw a lot of people just crowded around, just crowded around one particular area. And honestly, I didn't know what was going on. I thought that, like maybe there was something going on, uh, like near the mall or something like that. 
and I didn't pay really any attention to it. And then I went out there to take a look, and I realized they were all just hanging out playing Pokemon Go. They were thinking about which Pokemon they found and everything like that, and I just found that so freaking cool that just people are just, <laughs> just hanging out talking about Pokemon. It's amazing to me. And I never thought I'd see the day where I, just everybody, like little kids, adults, teens, they were, I mean, granted they were on their phone half the time when they were doing it, but the point is that they were, they were communicating and everything like that, and that's just, that's just very, very cool to me. I think the fact that, you know, just people are just getting together, something as simple as Pokemon. Something as simple as that, and it's bringing people together, and I just, I, I, I love that. I think that's great. But, I mean... I just, I don't know. I just, I think, I think that's... That's just the cause of some kind of, like, it's a big deal to me. I don't, I don't know. Did I not get this right? Or do I have to get all the Diglett pictures? I think I have to. Alright, all right, let's go back. Um, but yeah. And it's just, it's amazing to me that something as, as simple and as small as a mobile game of Pokemon on your phone can cause people to just connect. And especially, like, especially how, like, things are in the world right now with just people doing really dumb stuff. People hating people for no reason and everything like that. If, if something as simple as a, as a mobile game of Pokemon can cause people to communicate, act as one with no hate, no, no, like, you know, anger or anything towards any, like, I mean, granted, the only anger I've really seen are just people not getting the Pokemon that they want because, you know, it, it's hard to catch sometimes, but it's just, just that, man. It's just, I just hear that and it, I don't know. It makes me happy. Because I'm, I'm one of those firm people. It's like, I like it when people come together. I like when people communicate. I like when people are happy. And when I see that, it's, it, it makes me happy to know that, you know, the world's not all bad. It's just certain people or certain things make the world so bad. But something simple, like a Pokemon game, can can change everybody's perspective about that, then you know what? Maybe there maybe the world isn't so bad after all. Maybe there's things that, you know. Really, I don't know, makes you makes me makes me wonder. But maybe again, maybe I'm thinking too much about it. I mean, I really could just be thinking too much, but what am I doing wrong? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the other courses, because I've done this three times until I remember how to do it. Welcome back. <laughs> I can't believe I don't remember how to do that one. Of all things. It's crazy. It's crazy. But, uh, enough of, like, I, <laughs> I guess most of this episode was just me doing, like, real talk. And I probably should have thought more about that. Um, but aside from that, I'll talk about other things other than just like the world is coming together thanks to Pokemon. Full peaks. Uh, if you guys are playing Pokemon though, and you've caught some cool ones, what's the rarest one you've caught so far? What's the rarest one you've found? Uh, myself, uh, I think the rarest one I've found. I don't even know if I can call it rare, but. But it was definitely one that I was not expecting to find, and I kind of, <laughs> I found it, um, I found it actually in my, in my backyard, which, which is astounding to me. It's like, there's Pokemon in my backyard. I can't tell you how many dreams I've had as a kid, where I've always wanted that. It's like, there's a Pokemon in my backyard, catchy. Like, I've had those, and it was a, it was a pincer. I found a pincer in my backyard, and I'm just like, what? That's cool. I just, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Um, I have a lot of doubles right now, though. I have, uh, I have a lot of Rattatas, obviously. 
Uh, I have a, a few Caterpies, two Pidgeo Pidgeotos, and uh, I think two Weedles. But I'm trying, I want to catch like different ones. I don't want to just keep catching the same ones. <laughs> And uh, I need I do eventually need to go to one of those Poké stops because I haven't gotten one of those yet. Yes. If you guys have caught anything special or interesting or crazy or new, let me know. Let me know what you guys have caught. Tons of Andax. What good stuff. I'm, oh. I'm curious to see what you guys have caught in so far. What their And like what level? I think right now I'm at level five, so I'm not really too far in. It's another, I think another reason why is because my phone sucks, Welcome and uh, I am one of those people that like has a problem with my phone constantly crashing when I yes. play the game, and it's frustrating, but yeah. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what Pokemon have you caught, what Pokemon have you really wanted to get, but you keep kind of missing out on. Let me know. I'm curious. I want to, let me know about your Pokemon journey. Show me the ways. Show me, show me what you guys have been experiencing. Oh yeah, I have a slowpoke too, by the way. And one thing I do really, really want to point out about uh, Pokemon Go is I love, love, love the fact that only the, the only Pokemon in Pokemon Go at the moment are only Gen 1 Pokemon. I mean, I don't know if there are any other Gen type Pokemon in it yet, because I haven't found any from the other Gens, but right now it's just strictly Gen 1, and I love it. That's another, I think that's another big plus for me, why I like Pokemon Go so much. Because it's all Gen 1 Pokemon. And I really, really like it. And I mean, I think that's another reason why people are really responding to it well. Because a lot of these people who haven't played Pokemon in years, if you would have put one of the new ones, like the like the, the Chandelure, or like the, the Key Ring, or the Sword, people would be like, what the heck is this? This isn't a Pokemon. But if you put something like a Bulbasaur or a Squirtle in there, or heck, even a even a Mr. Mime, if you put that in there, it's like, oh, that's a Pokemon. I know that. I'm just saying, people recognize Pokemon better when it's Gen One. I'm just saying. I mean, the newer from the newer kids out there, they'll probably they'll probably be like, oh, I know what that is. That's a uh, 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 I don't I mean I don't I don't can I don't know the newer gens that well. But like I said, you you get what I mean. You get what I mean. Yes. But, uh, I mean, it's just me thinking out loud. Oh, this is vile blue. Again, I, it's times like this, I wish this game had, a, a, like, an extra zoom. Because, like, the zoom that you get is sometimes oh. it's not enough. Sometimes it's not enough. You can't get what you want. But, uh... Yeah, that's just, it's just me thinking out loud about this whole Pokemon Go thing, man. I, li I like what it I like what it's been I like what it's done so far. Yes. I really I, can, I really appreciate what it's done so far. It makes me happy to know that you know things are all right sometimes. Rhymer. Zubits. <laughs> Such a derpy looking Bulbasaur. <laughs> Okay. 
move your butt, Articuno. I need the Jinx pictures. There we go. <laughs> I noticed that they changed the face color on the Jinx in this game. I think in the Japanese version, she has the black face, which is racist. But they changed it to the purple one for the American version. I don't know if that's true, though. I might need to double check on that. But yeah, that's originally what they did. They ended up changing Jinx's face because of that. It's a little, a little racist. A little racist, but... I'm glad they I'm glad they made that adjustment. But then again, I mean the game was in a black and white screen, so I mean you can't really be too politically correct about it. A little bit. There we go. There we go, we got the sweet sign. Really good Articuno. Get the dancing jinx. That's important. There we go. Yes! Alright. Eh. All right. At least he took it. At least he took it. Articuno. Really? Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. This the pose sucks though. The size of it's not that great. It, it literally looks like Articuno is gonna jab his talons into my face. Wonderful. But it's like, and eh, it, it, the size isn't that great. I'll never understand you. I really won't. Grab a couple more Pokemon shots. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's see. Uh, all right, go to the valley. Yes. I still need to remember how to get the Pokemon sign uh, with Pinsir. I don't remember how to do it. There you go. Whoa! He just kicked that magic card. What a butthole! <laughs> oh, that was a Goldie. Did I already get a picture of a Goldie? Oh yeah, I did get a picture of a Goldie, but it sucked though. It sucked. <gasps> I didn't get a center shot on any of that. Are you kidding? Oh, I came back. This kid has a terrible arm. Just it's it's right there. Hit the Pokemon. There we go. Couple new ones. Couple new ones. All right. Pray for my life. I got all the squirtles. Alright. I knew there was a couple missing Pokemon that I was missing out here. I'm glad I remember which one for. Alright. Now all I gotta do is get the pincer sign. And I just I don't I don't remember. Hopefully it'll dawn on me uh, how to get it. something with the electabuzz and uh something has to do with that i'm not sure right. this is a much better movie it's not centered but it's a lot better Ooh. a little crescent moon action i like it sand slash all right gyarados i'm 
man, I didn't get the, the dancing gravelers. Oh, I did. I did. There we go. Perfect. Yes. Gotta be happy with some of those, right? Oh, I didn't get the sign, did I? Ah, oh, crap. Better. Better. Wait. Well done. Oh, all right. I'll take it. Okay. Teeny Crispoon. Wait. Good. Sand Slash. Cool. Very nice. Wonderful. Very good. Dancing Gravel. Wow. Cool. Wonderful. Gyarados. All right. Wonderful. Oh, man. <laughs> Out of all that, I forgot to get the Pokemon sign. God dang it. Oh, Welcome lordy, back. lordy, lord. Okay. Let me go back to the tunnel, since, like, the Pokemon sign for the valley is, like, literally right there at the beginning. Yes. Let me see if I remember how to do this. I honestly don't remember. I don't... Okay, we're back. All right. I'm a complete idiot, and I did not realize this, but apparently all I have to do... Apparently all I have to do is... My phone was going off. So unprofessional! So unprofessional! Anyway, uh, apparently what I have to do, and I completely, completely forgot about this, is I have to release the Zapdos. I, I have to release the Zapdos, and I... I feel so dumb because I didn't remember that. I feel so dumb that I did not remember that. But oh well. Trial and error, folks. Trial and error. Right. Pika B. Oh wait, I haven't taken a picture of Zapdos yet? I can't believe I haven't taken a picture of Zapdos. I could have sworn that I did. Shame on me. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on me. Follow the apples. It's right there. Wow. Wow. I'm an idiot. I really am. I am a complete and utter buffoon, guys. Complete and utter buffoon. I didn't understand. I didn't know that Magnemites liked apples. You learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. Well, that took forever because I seriously for completely did not remember. Okay. Well, that one was pretty cool. Alright. Zapdos. Pokemon sign. And. Magnemite. There we go. Two Professor Oak. Yes. There we go. Alright. Good. This is Zapdos. So, so. Pose is alright. Alright. Wonderful. Stuff. It's a Magnemite. Sure is happy. Sure is. I'm happy that oh, I freaking got it. Alright. Got my picture. Got my thing. Cool. Alrighty. Welcome back. Alright. Not not too much jibber jabber. Let's go back yes. to the valley and get the photo and then just zoom out. Because I, I could have done this earlier, but I'm dumb and I forgot to take the photo. <laughs> You know, Pokemon sign. And for funsies, we'll try to get Gyarados again. For, fun for funsies, we'll try to get Gyarados again. And there he goes! Okay. Okay. Squirtles are all in the water, man. They're blocking my stuff. Mankey. 
Fast boys, fast boys. All right. Where's the magic carp? Where's the magic carp? Mm. Mm. I just like that. Mm. Mm. All right. Go, magic carp, magic carp, magic carp. Oh my God. Get some good sexy shots of Gyarados. Why not? Why not? Star you. Get that star me in there. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Yeah. Alright. Now with zoom. Zoom, zoom. Get out of here. We gotta get out of here. We, we've taken too long. We've taken too long. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna heavily, heavily edit this video. Because I do not need a 30 plus minute episode of Pokemon Snap. So. Got some, some edits are coming your way, folks. Some edits are coming your way. Just to shorten it, because it doesn't need to be that long. But, uh, here we go. Alright. Alright. Pokemon sign. Ah, uh, that crap just sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna send this one to Oak. Ah, eh, the size isn't very good. <laughs> I like that one. Okay. Oops, sorry. Yes. Okay. Let's just see. Let's just see for fun. For fun. Gyarados. All right. Okay. Better. Looks scary. Yeah, you didn't have to get in its face like I did. Well done. Clearly, I took a better field out there. Oh, this is exactly it. The Pokemon I've seen. Wonderful. Cool. All right. Wait. Welcome. Welcome back. back. You finally got all the Pokemon sign pictures. Hmm. After looking at these six pictures, I've noticed the signs are just like the constellations that can be seen in the Pokemon Island. That's the key to the mysterious. It's the sky. It all makes sense. It's the sky. The rainbow cloud is floating in the sky. It's the secret cause. Someone in the clouds must have already created a Pokemon sign. I made a new path to the rainbow cloud. This could prove very important Pokemon research. Good luck, Vegas. Yeah. So finally, we made it to the rainbow cloud. The secret. But we're not going to do that one until the next episode, guys. So in the next one, it will be the finale of our Pokemon Snap adventure. And we will journey to the Rainbow Cloud. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the real talk about Pokemon Go. If you're playing it, play it with friends. And if you, ha if you don't have anybody to play with, go out there and meet some trainers. I'm pretty sure you're going to meet some pretty fun people out there. And I will see you guys in the next one. This was Pokemon Snap. I've been Benches. I love all your faces. I'll see you next time.